Hi, I'm Mike with Ubitastic. I'm here at SCNA Software Craftsmanship North America. It's a mouthful. But uh, I'm sitting down with Mike Jansen, who runs the uh, Eighth Light University at Eighth Light here in Chicago. Hi, Mike. Thanks for sitting down. Thanks. Uh, what is Eighth Light University? So, Eighth Light University is uh, it's a every Friday event that we have over lunch um, at the Eighth Light office in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And it is a chance for our craftsmen to uh, to basically kind of give back to the other craftsmen that work at Eighth Light and also to the community at large. Yeah, I was going to say, is it, is it an in-house only mm -hmm. thing? Or? So it started out as, uh, you know, back when Eighth Light was maybe six or seven people, we started mm -hmm. doing, uh, you know, sessions every Friday where it was kind of a lunch and learn. Then it got a little more formalized that we want to do, everyone to do three sessions okay. on some topic. So not just your typical one-hour session on something, but a really much like a, a deeper dive okay. into some topic about software development or something interesting that they're working on. But these were people that were working at Eighth Light? Yeah. So were you with like apprentices? And yeah. Okay. Yeah, so very small start, but as we started to move down to the Chicago area, instead of just being up in Libertyville, uh, we really started opening up uh, the, uh, the Eighth Light University to the public. Okay. Um, and so we started, you know, set up the RSVPs, uh, made sure people would come in and we ordered lunch for everyone. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, so now at our new office, we've got a little bit more capacity and we're up to about 60 people on a regular basis coming in for 8LU on Fridays. And, uh, and it's, so it's a little bit out of the uh, education and the social aspect. It's mm -hmm. not they come in and it's a class. It's, yeah. it's more yeah. like, um, uh, like, like, a, like a mini comp almost, would you say? A little bit. So it's, it really works as a way to, um, to get people that are just finding out about a life, you mm -hmm. know, are looking for an apprenticeship or... You know, they're just in the area and they want to come and learn about something. Uh, you know, it's a chance for them to stop by, have some lunch, and you know, learn about whatever uh, whatever topic is coming up. And those topics can really range all over the place. So, was uh, Eighth Light University your first kind of foray into organizing community? Or? Uh, probably my first uh, formal one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I you know, at past jobs, I would organize little mini training sessions, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. So it really felt like kind of a natural fit when I got started yeah. in eighth flight of oh I can I can do this I can I can get people to you know get up and talk yeah uh, so and then it's really just I mean the the people that I work with at eighth flight um, Susan and Angelique they're both real good at uh, helping to make sure all the all of the bits and pieces all of the you know details get taken care of yeah. and it also helps having an army of apprentices that can yeah. arrange chairs yeah. <laughs> before my minions yes exactly. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, and, and are they recorded? Do you publish them out? Yeah, we uh, we post the videos on Vimeo. We have a Vimeo account, and we put the links up to the videos on our website, university. Okay, that was going to be the next question. Yeah, yeah. University. So, mm -hmm. Okay. And so, uh, it takes a little bit of time just to process and upload them. So they may be a week or two behind most of the time, but you can find a lot of our videos there. Okay. Um, for you know the past maybe year or so of. Uh, of talks. Was there been any like highlight talks that were really like, yeah, this is, mm -hmm. this was fun? Yeah, so uh, every, about once a quarter we have uh, Uncle Bob Martin come in and he does a talk on. Yeah. Uh, I usually don't find out until maybe three days beforehand, so I just yeah. kind of say, all right, Uncle Bob's coming on Friday, you know, and then people RSVP right away for it. Mm -hmm. um, so those those are always a lot of fun. Um, we've had some good ones. Uh, uh, we had one that's uh, that uh, one of our craftsmen did on uh, the Go language, and that was really interesting just to kind of see. It's not a language that really is used much outside of Google, and so he was really passionate about it and mm -hmm. really got people kind of very interested in trying out Go and seeing how it would work for one of their projects. So has that led you guys to take on any Go projects at Ethereum? Um, it's, it's kind of opened our eyes internally. Yeah. Um, I, I think he's still fighting for it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's made its way into any production code yet, okay. but uh, it's something that people are playing with. All right. Well, thank you very much for taking the yeah. time to sit down. Thanks a lot. Thanks.